Welcome to this tutorial about how to create animations using Control Rig. Now, I hope that you have watched or at least know about Sequencer and the basics of Control Rig. Uh, if not, I will have some uh, video links to you down below so you just have the basics before this so you're up to speed. Other than that, let's just jump into it. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26 and this should work all fine for Unreal Engine 5, of course. Um, so this is the, the project that I made in the earlier episode about uh, copying a control rig. So either you can go through that video and, and get uh, the same project done, uh, or you can have your own control rig available for this. It's fine either way. But as you can see here, I have my control rig uh, available here, which basically looks like uh, the one from the Unreal Epic. Um, example. Now uh, we want to create some animations and uh, we want to use the control rig to do it because that will allow us to more easily make animations inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, preferably you would probably want to do animations outside of Unreal Engine in tools that are actually made for it but the Unreal Engine animation tools have become much more competent uh, recently with the addition of control rig uh, which allows you to make animations uh, easier because of inverse kinematics and such but also to do things like uh, procedural animations now what we're going to be doing in this episode is just going to be making a animation a simple animation something basics to show you how it is done so let's get started with that to begin with, we want to bring in our skeletal mesh. In this case, I have a control rig for my skeleton mannequin, skeleton mesh mannequin over here. So that is what it looks like when it's brought into the world. Now for me to make an animation, I also need to be using sequencer. So I will be adding a level sequence over here and I'll just leave it at the default name. And I'll click this camera to get a camera. Uh, probably a little bit redundant. Let's remove the camera actually, like so. And uh, let's eject from that. Uh, from this situation though, we want to add our character to our uh, timeline. So we'll just do that. I'll remove this camera actor as well because we don't need it. So here we have our character and we want to make some kind of animation with it. So the way we can make use of this is um, when we have the mannequin in our track over here, we go and add a control rig and we choose the control rig that we have from before. Uh, th this one is the one for me, but if you're using a different model, you might have a different one. So by adding the control rig, we actually get our controls available to us here. And now we can actually start doing things. So if we were to, for example, make a simple, uh, I don't know, uh, wave animation. We can make sure that our control rig has its keyframe here at zero saved so that we have whatever it started out as. In, in this case, I have a, a pose, which is maybe perfect for this, but this is just demonstration purposes. So that means I have now keyed all of the things. So now if I click a control on this animation, in my case, I'm clicking on the hand control here. You can see hand right control. It will uh, unfold all of the different controls that are available to me in this control rig. And since I took a, uh, a keyframe in the beginning on the control rig as a whole, that means that all of the different parts have gotten a keyframe uh, set for the, the zero frame here now. So if I were to bring this up to the head and change some rotations, looks like it's sort of facing towards someone in the front something like that sort of looks wavy oh, my bad I should have moved uh, now I'm still at zero frame here so if I'm gonna move it's gonna be reset let's move first to the, the frame we actually want so in this case 15 here and then I'm gonna pick my control again I'm gonna lift it up I'm gonna be changing the rotation
something like that. Then I'll put a keyframe at this particular uh, control. Now that means that everything else is going to be stationary, but the control is actually going to be moving up here. And since the control is connected to all the other parts through our control rig, then that means that all of the other bones will be adjusting to conform with the control that we have set up. So if we were to add another point here at 30, maybe we can change its position, maybe something like that. Maybe change the rotation a little bit like that. Set another uh, keyframe. Now I can see that we're going to have this motion of bringing the hand up and then doing a wave. Let's do another one at 45. And at this point, let's say we want to go back to the exact same point over here where we had here. So we can alt drag this just like we drag normal objects in the world when we want to duplicate them. So now we have the position from position uh, 15 at our 45, which means that the wave will go back and forth between these two, like so. So now we have set up something simple here that looks like, okay, well, great, I've done my animation now. How, how do I actually get this to become an animation? So by going here to mannequin, you can right click and you can bake animation sequence. Now, if we were to click this, it will ask where do you want this to be? We'll just place it in the content, in the base, and we'll say anim wave test. And we'll say okay. And then you'll have some export uh, options here. I'll just use the export to anim sequence. And now you see down here that it has created an anim sequence. So we open that up and you can see here is our animation now. The, the issue with this one was that uh, we had an animation sequence that was larger. The end step is over here. And I only made an animation that went to 45 here. So this one should probably be trimmed since we only have stuff happening in the first, what was it, 45 or 50, something along those lines. Yeah, 45. Uh, but yeah, so so that's how you bake it out into an animation. So that means that if we were now to open up our uh, third character blueprint here, for example, we can go to its um, viewport here and we can actually change saying that instead of showing the animation blueprint, it should use an animation asset. And we can use our animation test wave and you'll see that it works over there. The prettiest animation you've probably ever seen, right? So that's how simple or how hard it is, depending on your viewpoint, uh, it is to create a animation inside of Unreal Engine with Control Rig. Again, uh, Unreal Engine is probably not the best, but with Control Rig it will be at least easier to make uh, animations. Um, because of all the controls you have exposed to you. I hope that this made sense. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you might have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.